हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अनुराग सर एंड टुडे आई विल टीच क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश रीडर चैप्टर नंबर फोर द ब्लू लाइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन दिस चैप्टर ब्लू लाइट द स्पीकर इन द स्टोरी इज अ राइटर हु हैज रेंटेड एन होल्ड हाउस ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट्स इट मीन्स in the outer part of town or city we can say of a small town in kerala the house has no electricity and it is also not well looked after but still a speaker finds that place perfect to write his next novel because he wants a place where there is a silence so that he can focus on his work after he moves in the local want local means here the local people of that place they want him that house is haunted by a ghost named bhargavi the speaker does not take the warning very seriously and then two and half month pass and he begins to forget about bhargavi then one day something happens we will study in the story in the story it was time around 10 o'clock when the poet was writing a story since 9 o'clock it was highly emotional piece means a piece of writing which was full of a strong feeling he was writing feverishly means very excitedly and with a lot of energy the poet was writing his story when he felt that light from the lantern is becoming gradually dimmer then poet picked up the lamp and shook it means he moved that lamp there was no kerosene in it but he did not want to stop writing because his completely focus was on the story to write he continued writing as the light got dimmer and dimmer until finally it becomes completely off to flame the lamp the poet needed some kerosene so he remembered that he could go to the bank and get some kerosene in that bank there is his friend who worked in that bank and uh, lived in one portion of the building so he could borrow some kerosene for his stove so he picked up the torch and empty kerosene bottle to go to the bank to his friends he went downstairs and locked his main door of the house outside in the road there was misty moonlight and the sky was overcast overcast means the sky was covered with gray clouds so he walked fast when he reached the front of the bank building he called out to his friends one of them came down and opened the side gate then they both walked along the side of the building and climbed up the stairs there the three of them his friends had been playing cards then poet tells them that he needs some kerosene so one of his friend started laughing and says that didn't you had asked bhargavi to fetch you some kerosene by listening this poet also started laughing but he did it not say anything to them while one of his friend was pouring out some kerosene from his stove and then it started raining outside then poet tells them that he will need an umbrella too his friends says by laughing that do you think we own an umbrella also stay with us and play cards you can go back when the rain it will stop so the poet sat down to play cards with them but he couldn't concentrate on the game because his mind was focusing still on the story by the time it stopped raining it was 1 o'clock he picked up his torch and bottle of kerosene his friends they were ready to go to bed and the poet was going to his house then poet said good night and thanks to all his friends and went down the stairs his friends switched off the lights as he reached the road there was no one on the road and no light was there so he walked along the deserted road with the help of light of his torch he reached to his house 
opened the gate of it and went inside he had no reason to think that anything exceptional here exceptional means unusual thing had happened downstairs but he wanted to tell us something that his mind was full of a strange sadness and there was no reason for sadness and he wanted to weep he went up stairs and still he was feeling deep sadness because he had seen something unusual he narrated that it was his subconscious means he had noticed something unusual thing when he had locked the house and gone for the kerosene the lamp had gone out completely because there was no oil in it and the time it has been taken more than 3 hours since he had left his house but now he could see a light inside the room he could see it through the chinks in the bedroom door so he was frightening and scaring that how is this possible as usual he took out his keys then he focused to the beam from his torch on the padlock the lock gleamed gleamed means shining like silver and then he says that lock is smiling in the light then he opened the door and went inside of it then he saw the whole thing his entire body jerked at that what was happening he didn't tremble with fear but he just stood there stunned he felt a kind of warmth through his body and he started to perspire perspire it means his body was sweating so he sees that the entire room was illuminated means lit up with a blue light the light came from the lamp from 2 inches of blue flame he stood there in amazement he was shocked that how is this possible who had lit the lamp that had not any of the kerosene where had the blue light come from this was such a pretty story and it is written by the poet waikam mohammad bashir this chapter has been completed we will meet in the next video till now take care good day